Adam Noble Forsey here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by, once again, Calla Sowland in the beautiful city of Riga. How are you, Cal? Amazing, amazing. Great to be here today. Uh, looking forward to this big one. Fantastic. So, fourth time in Riga, World Boxing Super Series. Um, I'm delighted you're here. I live here. Uh, we spoke last time. We both had hairs on the back of our necks um, after that crazy night here again. Um, a lot of controversy. I thought I kind of enjoyed it, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, what do you... It's always fun when you're sitting on the outside. Controversy is always fun. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, what? Uh, obviously, there was some talk. There were rumours about... Um, uh, Saudi Arabia, Dubai, all sorts of all sorts of conspiracies going on. You could say, um, how how did you come to the conclusion that you'd come to Riga again? Um, yeah, I mean, at the end, it was it wasn't just the, that part of the world. It was also Russia. It was uh, Miami, Las Vegas. Uh, those were the front runners, I'd say. Um, but ultimately, um, we knew here, it wasn't just a financial element, we knew here also what the place serves up for a final in terms of atmosphere, the logistics, uh, the arena is amazing, but not only the arena is amazing, it's got 10,000 great fans that go in there that really raise the roof. And uh, talk about the controversy in the semi final, most of that was caused through the noise. Yeah. Um, well, I, I, I heard it. Um, what are you... Because obviously one of the belts has been dropped off and, and things like that. The WBO are, are dealing with all that. Um, what are you doing differently this time round to make sure, you know, those, those sort of things don't happen again? I know it's, hard, it's, hard, it's a hard question to answer, but I suppose uh, it, needs to be, it needs to be asked. I think, you know, I don't think we're going with it on the, in this situation down at the WBO, you know, they made their decision. Uh, uh, the decision was that the, the result of the semi-final stands. They uh, ordered uh, Breedis to fight, or the winner of Daughter caused Breedis to fight against Blavatsky after the tournament. The polls went and protested that. Then there was a committee, um, sort of a legal committee, which, which the WBO employs, they then said no, the, a rematch must be immediate. Of course, it can't be a rematch, so uh, so it was a, was a simple decision, I guess. And he has to proceed with the final. He was already contracted to the final. Yeah. It's a bit of a weird one because the BO, in a way, uh, they knew there was a contract, but they were asking him to to go against the contract he had with the final. Um, so, is what it is. I don't think it's that. I don't think the WBO belt makes much of a difference to this lineup. I mean, it's a great belt, of course, and it's a great world ch world championship. But this is about the Muhammad Ali Trophy and the winner of this uh, who becomes the best in the division. You know, it's not about being world champion of one uh, one federation or, or multiple federations. This one, everyone knows that these two are the best cruiserweights in the division, and it's. Uh, the one against two seed at the end of the day. Um, so we pick that one right, but you know, I still think uh, I still think there's some always bizarre decisions in boxing. But you know, we'll just keep on doing what we're doing. I think we're getting a lot of love for it. We're getting a lot of uh, plaudits for it from mainly, the most importantly, from the fighters and the fans, yeah. but also from the media, um, who you know have, have uh, described us in part as a, a type of boxing utopia. So you know, mm. we'll, do, yeah, we'll, just, we'll just keep doing what we're doing. I don't think the fans will be moaning too much that Glavatsky's now fighting for a vacant belt. I don't think anyone will remember that uh, when they're watching this final. You know, so I don't think it makes a, a spot of difference. Mm. Um, in regard, funny, I was talking to uh, Dortikos about that, and I asked him, "Do did they think that the Ali Trophy was on a level, or maybe even above um, the world title belts these days, especially in this division? Because you've done it twice in a row. Um, the Ali Trophy, when it definitely, you know, is is the best in that in in this division, the cruiserweight division. What's your opinion on that? What did he say? Um, he said he was a. Uh, uh, a very politically correct answer is probably the best way to talk it, but he said it's it's on a level where it has to be. But it's 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 completely different. That's what we're we're, not, we're, ne we're not trying and never will try and take over the world championships. The world championships is the, is ultimately the, the thing that you train when you're a kid to become, when you become a boxer is become a professional world champion. That, that, we're not trying to change that. So we're not trying to what's bigger and what's not bigger. All we try and do is answer one question: Who's the best in the division? And it often isn't the world champion. Yeah? We know that, you know? Tyson Fury, for me, the best heavyweight at the moment. I think most people would agree with me. But 
he's not world champion. He hasn't got a belt. He's got this lineal title, whatever you want to call it. Even I get confused with that. But huh. who cares? Because people know he's the number one in the division. We did a World Boxing Super Series tomorrow at heavyweight. Tyson Fury will be the number one seed without a shadow of a doubt. And that will be it, you know? So then you'd say, well, well but he's not a world champion. But I don't really care. Uh, when it comes down to this, it's, it's about answering what, how, who, who are the, the fighters to beat in that weight class? We proved it with Callum Smith at the super mids. We've done it with the super lightweights with Josh Taylor, bantamweights in Nui, cruiserweight first season Uzik. He went up to heavyweight. Question marks open. Who's now the best cruiserweight? There you go. Breedis yeah. or Dorticos? Yeah, definitely. I can agree more. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, for me, it's, 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 the belts are so crucial to boxing. They're so important to boxing. But at the same time, we're trying to appeal a little bit to more mainstream sports fans as well. But I know this is it's, it's a, it's a simple tournament. It's done in the year and, you know, we know who the best is in that weight class when they lift that trophy. And that's it. Um, tiny step back, please, mate. Perfect. Um, in terms of... Um uh, bringing, I, talk, I spoke to Dorticos about it. He's more than happy to fight in Riga again. Um, obviously, we've seen some problems, before, especially with Baranchik, with the manager. Um, and as you said, they were contracted. One minute they were fighting, one minute they weren't. In the end, they had a great fight with um, uh, with Josh Taylor, which was fantastic. How how were those discussions with um, uh, Dorticos and his team? Well, do you say one minute they were fighting, one minute they weren't? That's what they thought. They were always fighting. They were yeah. either fighting or they weren't going to fight at all anyway. So that's what the contracts say. So, you know, I think we went out and proved the message with, especially with Baranchik, uh, Progress was a different case, but you know, Baranchik was the, the, the one that was the most verbal and the most drawn out. But, you know, they said they're leaving the tour and they officially pulled out the tour. And I said, well, it's like me officially stating when I'm brushing my teeth that I'm president of the United States of America. It lasts as long as I leave the room and I've got to tell someone else and they probably get men in white coats to take me off. <laughs> so they can say, you can say what you want in this world. You might get punished for it, you might not. It depends on what you're saying. But ultimately, what you agree to, not only on contract as a gentleman, what you agree to is the word that you live by. That's how I see things. You know, contract's one thing, but when you give your word, you're going in, in this tournament, when you go in, you are richly rewarded, but you know the framework of what you're expected to do to prove that you're the best in the world. So, you know, it's, uh, it was a case at the time. I, I, I personally nev never put it down to Baranchik or even Progress, but I don't think either fight even, was, was never a doubt that they were gonna fight, but it was obviously the people around certain ears, people's, you know, mouths and ears and, well, that's, that's boxing. Come on. You know, <laughs> they won't get, it's it's a nice yeah. drama story for people when they're a bit bored, but I don't get, I'm, I don't get, I don't feel drama because I've seen it before. It's, a, it's the nature of the beast. So, you know, yeah. all PR is good PR. <laughs> Definitely. Okay.